Well, community sports has been a staple in Trinidad and Tobago for as long as we can remember. And with life getting back to normal following the COVID-19 pandemic, the second edition of the Northeast Coast Village Olympics is in full swing. Cameraman Carlos, the not-so-good Walcott, who is a relative of Keyshawn Walcott, and Ken Fuentes were present for the launch. <laughs> I, Martha and St. Helena, the defending champs, all you see this year, all of it had to catch no crumb. It's as if we leave the best for last. So all you, don't look to come and walk in the people that march fast. The Northeast Coast Village Olympics was officially launched recently. With all the culture of fanfare, you would expect from the village that does its best to maintain tradition. Grand River Village are the host village, and its president said those making the trip will witness the exceptional talent the Northeast Coast has to offer. Some people say, wow, so far you all live. You know, yeah, we live far, but we have a lot of talent up here. And we can boast that from Madura, even from Grandy, coming straight up. You know, welcome all. Event coordinator Sheldon George said the village of Grand River is once again happy to play host to the Games, which were last held in 2019 at the village grounds, praising the youth for getting involved in running the village council. The Grand River Village Council has been in existence for over 60 years. We are very proud to recognize that for the first time in our council's history, we have one of the youngest executive ever, where over 85% of the executive members currently holding office are under the age of 35 years. Minister of Youth Development and the National Service Foster Cummings praised the Village Council for the work it continues to do in developing the community and for its spirit of inclusion. You have not organized this activity selfishly in that you are incorporating all of the villages you could even talk about uh, on the way up to Toko. It's all involved and therefore that is community spirit. And that is what we want to encourage in Trinidad and Tobago. Delivering the feature address, Deputy Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Sport and the Community Development, Beverly Reed Samuel, added the Village Olympics are not just about competition, but also one that speaks of unity. This event is not just a competition. It is a celebration of togetherness, fostering a sense of unity among the villages from Matura to Matlot and environs. Kent Fuentes. TTT Sports. Great camel work indeed.